Sky Drew with another Mission RV Services Monday Quick Tip. So this week we're going to talk about propane. So this particular customer is a brand new RVer. This is their very first travel trailer and they didn't have a very good walkthrough at their dealership. So then we got the call today. They were telling us that, you know, I have full propane and I did everything I was supposed to do, but I am not getting propane to my, my range. My water heater, their water heater is working on electric power, but not propane. Um, but their oven's not working, stove's not working. Uh, they have an outdoor grill. They can't get any gas to that as well. So we came out and first thing we did is, of course, check the propane supply. And sure enough, I checked the first tank and it was full. Checked the second tank, but it was empty. So, okay, I figured, all right, well, I looked at the bypass valve positioning and they have their supply side to here. And I moved it over to here, but when we got here, it was over to this side. So now at this point, we've gone and had the customer fill this propane tank up. But what we really ended up having to do is we had to educate our customer. There's a th three things you can do here. You can either keep this supply side pointed to the one tank you wanna use. When this tank goes empty, you can bring it over and you can supply from the other side. Then you know you take this tank off, go ahead and get that filled up, reinstall it, and then you always can go back and forth. Some people, like to keep the supply line up in the center. So what this does for them is they can draw off both tanks. But the problem with that is, is once you draw off both tanks and you're empty, well, now you're completely out of propane. So if you're in the middle of a family barbecue or you've taken your shower, but but your, your missus hasn't or vice versa, someone's getting a cold shower because all the propane's gone and somebody's gonna have to run over to Tractor Supply or Menards, Lowe's, wherever, and get their tanks refilled or swapped out. So what we always recommend to customers is always keep it at a supply site. Always point to one tank. When this tank goes empty, you go to the other one. But what they weren't, didn't know or weren't educated on was that they even had this switch to begin with that was located on their vertical gas regulator, which is what this is. It's a gas regulator. A little bit about this is it does have the, the supply side, so center, supply, and it also has a cover over the regulator and it has a vent that goes in the downward position. This is all required by law that it has this, has a some type of protection on it and it vents downward. So the reason it vents downward is propane is heavier than air. So to have it vent upward is not gonna do any good. So this lets it exhaust out as fast as possible and vents downward so the propane can go ground level and not come up and try to find a way into the coach or travel trailer. Be hard for it to get into here, but we don't want to take any risk. Again, this is propane. This can get you very ill. It has ethyl mercaptan in it, which is that rotten egg odor. So we can smell it because propane is an odorless gas. Um, so we definitely want to always be aware of our propane supply. Do a personal sniff test. Um, if you think you have a propane leak, you can get a hold of a qualified RV technician. They can do a leak drop down test. They can do a sniffer test with an electronic sniffer. They can even spray it and look for bubbles with a proper chemical that detects leaks. Um, but on this particular job, it was just a supply issue. Once we flipped it over, it came right back on. Customer was happy and they got a good education on how to manage their propane system. So just a quick tip on some propane this week. And that was your Mission RV Services Monday Quick Tip. I'm Drew and we'll see you next week, everybody. Bye.